All right, look at this, boys. We've got beans here. They're still very green, as you can see. Still very green. But as you walk along the beans, boys, take a look, she's here. The beans slowly, slowly get more and more brown until about here, they're ready to be harvested. You know, the way I can know is I can pluck that off. It cracks open real easy. And if I take the bean inside, oh, maybe this one is a little squishy, actually. Oh, that was not ready yet. I was wrong about that one. Let's try one of these over here. Now we feel. Oh, these look real. That looks dry. Oh, yeah, you hear that crunch? So, take a bean out of there. Put it in your jaw. And if it crunches or cracks in your mouth, that's how you know they're ready. That one was ready. A lot of these are probably ready. That one looks ready. Oh, yeah. These are really ready. Those crack super easy. And they look pretty dry. Uh huh. Those are ready. But we can't harvest yet, obviously, because they're still green. But there's not a whole lot of it on the. It's just on the edges. All this stuff is pretty much ready to go. I don't know. Let's go check on the other few. See, like right here, this is what I'm talking about. Look how green that is. That's super green compared to the stuff that was out there. That's not bad right here. This ain't bad. Let's see if that cracks at all. Oh, yeah. It cracked, but not open. That's not bad. That ain't bad at all. Once that green's gone, though, on these edges here, I made a video about it the other day, but I didn't post it. I just put it on my group chat, on Snapchat. People live around here, farmers. I put it on my group Snapchat about it, and yeah, they were agreeing with me. Oh, there's is like that as well. Look how green that is. That's just annoying. But we usually harvest beans in September. And it's not September anymore and we didn't get them out yet. Which is slightly concerning. We did plant a little bit late, but not that late. Down here is a little weird. There's a whole lot of weeds on this edge here. I need to come in here with a weed whacker and just whack them all down. Now for the corn. Our corn on this field looks really good. We just peel that down a little bit. See that? How golden that ear is? That's really good looking corn, but we can't harvest it yet because we haven't had a frost. So the, the stalks are, are not, yeah, they're still green on the bottom. These stalks are still very green all here. Let's look at the corn on this one here. Yeah, that's still real golden. Yeah. Now let's go take a look. Let's go take a look on the other cornfield. Look how short that still is. That's really underdeveloped. Look at that. How is that even? I don't even know. That's definitely gonna be a problem. <sighs> Shoot. It's always something. It really it is. <sighs> this spot wouldn't be bad to come into. Really here. Here would be pretty good. Not bad. In like a week. Wouldn't be bad. But I'll definitely get you a video off 
when they harvest. So next week if they come out, I'll get the video to you guys. They don't come out next week, they come out the week after that. I'll get you the video. But whenever whenever they come out, that's when I'll get you the video, okay? So look at our car here. Alright, here's one that has fallen over because of how underdeveloped it is. Look at this. There's an ear of corn growing on this. The corn doesn't look bad, but the, the stalk itself does. Look at how little these still are. Stuff in there is fine. It's not, this is not corn that grows as tall as it usually, like usual corn does. Take a look at this good ear here. This is still kind of a small ear, but the corn looks pretty good on the inside. They're still a little white, but they don't look bad. Let's go in here a little bit. Take a look at this here. That's a problem. That's a diseased corn that died. Not even another ear on there, I don't think. Let's take a look at good corn. Corn usually is the best we do. We don't usually do as well with beans, but this year I think we might do much better with beans than corn. Look at that, that's not bad. I think once we get these out for rows, because look down here again. All of this in the weeds, it's just all dead on the edges. Fine. That don't look like a bad ear right there. That's a good ear. This is all these weeds. Sucking out the nutrients. Look how short all this is. Mainly because the tassels are dying and falling off. But look how short this is. This is incredibly short corn. I don't think it's a good thing. I mean, that corn is almost ready to pick right here on the edge. We might have to get out the JD45. Come in here with the single row harvester and harvest these rows out. I ain't even kidding, too. My grandpa's got a JD45 John Deere. 45 combine. Is it? Yeah, it's a 45. It's got a two row. It's got a two row header on it. It's an old combine. Good looking combine. We don't use. We don't really do our own combine anymore, though. We hire somebody out. That's all, really, for now, boys. I'll get you an update on the farm next week, and we'll do a comparison. So on the out shot, I'll have a picture, I think, of the beans, edges of the beans right now, and then I'll do an out shot of them next week as well. So, thanks for watching, and uh, peace out.